Hello, this is section 12 synthesis strategies for uh, the Klein's organic chemistry textbook. Uh, this is where everything comes together. So first I want to review all of the reactions here and then I want to talk about some tricks that you're going to see and then uh, we're going to apply those tricks to uh, solve some synthesis problems. So first let's review uh, all of the reactions we've learned uh, so far. Um, Starting from an ordinary benzene ring, okay, that's our basic starting point. We can have substituents on there, but this can react with, for example, bromine and aluminum tribromide, for example. To I normally use FeBr3. I'm not sure why the book uh, writes this. I'm going to write um, bromine. FeBr3 to give bromobenzene. Okay, another halogen that's commonly encountered is chlorine. Chlorine FeCl3 gives chlorobenzene. Okay, nitration uses two things. Don't forget of course, nitric acid and H2SO4. Okay, that's a three there, a subscript of three. Um, this gives nitrobenzene. Okay. Now, it's very critical to remember that nitrobenzene can be reduced. Um, iron or zinc and hydrochloric acid will give you aniline, okay? So that's a synthetic route, a two-step reaction to produce aniline. We can't put the NH2 group on the ring in one step. It has to be two. Another reaction we can do is uh, sulfonation. We do that with fuming sulfuric acid. So I write SO3 and then H2SO4. And that can give benzene sulfonic acid. Okay. In this lecture, I'm not going to focus on deprotecting, so I'm not going to show how that can be removed. Okay. Friedel Crafts alkylation can be uh, carried out with various alkyl groups. I'll just use chloromethane here and aluminum chloride catalyst. Okay and that will give uh, toluene, okay? So we can put on an ethyl group and various other groups that might rearrange, remember? Now, a key reaction that we need to remember is that uh, toluene can be reacted with uh, n-bromosuccinimid, some initiator such as light, heat, or a peroxide present to do allylic, um, in this case, benzylic halogenation. If you have excess n bromosuccinimid, you can get uh, the tribromomethyl group. This is discussed in section 18.6 if you want to go back and look at that. Uh, toluene, as well, can be oxidized. We use uh, potassium permanganate. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff detailed in the book. I'm just going to write KMnO4. And that can give you benzoic acid. Okay. So let me just highlight here that we talked about aniline. To synthesize aniline from benzene, it takes two reactions. To synthesize benzoic acid from benzene takes two reactions. Please keep that in mind. We can also do... Uh, Friedel Crafts acylation, and I'll just use acetyl chloride or this guy here, okay? And this will make, um, I'll put another meth, uh, another uh, carbon on there so we can see why we would want to do this. So this can make, oh, and don't forget the aluminum chloride. This will make um, various acetophenones. Um, 
This one here is a propiophenone. Now this can be um, reacted further. In this case, we'll react it with uh, zinc, mercury, amalgam. Okay, so zinc slash mercury, or zinc in parentheses mercury, and we write HCl. And this will reduce the uh, ketone to an ordinary alkane. Okay, so we would want to do this reaction if we have a group that would rearrange in the ordinary Friedel Crafts alkylation. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to review the reactions anymore. Now, let me show you the tricks. Okay, now uh, there are uh, maybe four tricks, okay, that you can think of. So first of all, if we have nitrobenzene, okay, we know that uh, this is an electron withdrawing group, which is a meta director, okay? If we treat this substance with um, the zinc or iron, I like to just use iron here usually as my example, iron, hydrochloric acid, we can make the aniline. Now aniline, because we have a nitrogen with a lone pair right next to the aromatic ring, this is an ortho para director. Okay, so because of that interesting anomaly, we could make, you know, metachloroaniline, for example. You might be thinking, well, how do we put the chlorine here? I'll show you in, in the upcoming slides here, okay? Another trick that's often encountered is toluene, for example, has this ordinary, uh, you know, alkyl group off the ring here. Now, that's a very weak orthopara director. Okay? But if we take this substance and we oxidize it with potassium permanganate, we can get benzoic acid. And remember, because of that pi bond right adjacent to the aromatic ring, the carboxylic acid functional group is a meta director. Okay? So I'll show you a synthesis where the, uh, we get benzoic acid with something at the para position. You might be wondering, well, how do we do that? I'll show you that in the next slide. Okay? Another uh, reaction that's very commonly encountered is an acyl group. I'll just put an R here. Now, remember that because we have this carbon-oxygen pi bond right next to the aromatic ring, this makes it an electron withdrawing group, which is a meta-director. Now, if we reduce that with the zinc, mercury, amalgam, and hydrochloric acid, we can make an ordinary alkyl group, okay, like that. And remember that alkyl groups are orthopara directing. So that's going to direct to the orthopara position, okay? So uh, that's something to look at and to be aware of, okay? Now let me show you where this comes in. Let's say I want to synthesize metabromoaniline. Now, when you try to do retrosynthesis on this, you get stuck because you realize that nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons here, and this group right here is an orthopara director. Okay? 
Here are the two orthocarbons. Here's the paracarbon. The bromine is not at any of those positions, so we've got a problem there. So maybe we should think about the bromine. Bromine also has lone pairs, right? And you should remem remember and memorize that the bromine group here is also an ortho pair director. So if we identify the ortho carbons and the para carbon with respect to the bromine, none of those positions contains the NH2 group. So it seems like we have a problem. But let me show you how the synthesis is carried out. We start with benzene and we nitrate the ring. This is carried out with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And we would expect nitrobenzene to occur quite readily, okay? Now, let's pause here and think about this. This nitro group is a meta director, okay? It's a meta director here because there is a pi bond. If you draw out the nitro functional group, there's a positive charge on nitrogen and there's a pi bond between the nitrogen and oxygen. So this is a very strong electron withdrawing group, which is a meta director, okay? Here's the meta carbon, right? There's one over here too, but because of symmetry, they're equivalent. So now, if I treat this with bromine, iron three bromide, Now I get bromine in the correct meta relationship to the nitro group, but I need to change that nitro group into the aniline. So the way you do this again is I just use iron, okay, iron and uh, hydrochloric acid here. That will convert the nitro group to an aniline type functional group, okay? So this is the trick that I was uh, mentioning before. Uh, you have to incorporate and use the nitro group to do the correct directing and then change the nitro group to an aniline at the end of that, okay? Let's take a look at another uh, example. Let's say I want to synthesize uh, meta-chloroethyl benzene, okay? And you go through the same analysis that we did before. You look at this group here, and you realize that's an ortho para director. Here's the two ortho carbons. Here's the para position. There's no ethyl at any of those circled locations. So then we think about, okay, well, what about this guy here? This guy here is also an ortho para director, and there's no chlorine in any of those yellow circled carbons. So we seem to be stuck. Like, wait, what do we do? So this is where you need to use the trick, okay? And remember that alkyl groups can come from their corresponding ketones. So let me show you how the synthesis works here in this example. We start with benzene as usual. And we do a Friedel Crafts acylation. Make sure you count your carbons and you have the correct number of carbons. An ethyl group is going to need two carbons that come in. We use aluminum chloride. And this Friedel Crafts acylation is expected to occur without, you know, any problems from interfering uh, groups. Now that we have the ketone, let's very carefully think about the directing, okay? So this guy right here, remember, because it has a carbon-oxygen pi bond right next to the benzene ring, this is going to be a meta director. It's an electron withdrawing group. Here's the meta carbon, here's the meta carbon. So we'll put on a chlorine on that meta carbon, okay? Both meta carbons are equivalent due to the symmetry in this molecule. So let's go ahead now and react this with chlorine and FeCl3, okay? 
and that will give me metachloroacetophenone. Okay. Now here's the trick, right? At this point, we want to remove that ketone functional group from this molecule, and we do that with a reduction. Okay. We add zinc, mercury amalgam, hydrochloric acid, and that gives me the target molecule. Okay, so uh, that's a trick. Let me give you a very ad advanced uh, example. Uh, right now, when I'm filming this, it's kind of winter here in the northern hemisphere, but uh, in the summer months, you put on a lot of sunblock or sunscreen or things like that, and uh, one of the ingredients oftentimes says PABA. PABA stands for para-amino-benzoic acid, and it has this uh, functional group, this, this structure here. You've got the carboxylic acid here, and of course it's para, so this is where you have your amine. Okay. Now, when you carry out the synthesis of para-amino-benzoic acid, you want to be careful this guy right here is in fact an ortho para director, but it has lone pairs. And remember that a limitation of the Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction is that if we add um, some group, okay, like chloromethane to this, and we uh, use a catalyst the lone pairs of the aniline are a much stronger Lewis base towards the aluminum chloride, so it turns out there's no reaction. Okay? The aniline is just too highly activated. So yes, they do have blocking and deblocking strategies for that, but let's try to do a different synthesis here. Let's think about this backwards. Okay? Now, we know that um, Carboxylic acids can come from simple alkyl groups. And this guy here, as a methyl group, is an ortho para director. Okay? So that could come from toluene, essentially. Okay? So let me show you the synthesis for this on, on the next page. Okay? So again, we're trying to synthesize this molecule here. This is our target molecule. Now it's quite lengthy because remember, to put on a carboxylic acid group requires two reactions. And to incorporate an amino group or an aniline requires two reactions. So this is gonna be four reactions in total. So let's start with benzene. Let's add chloromethane. Okay, and so we've got toluene. Now here's where we want to stick on the nitro group because the, the methyl group is an ortho para director. Okay, this guy right here is going to direct to the uh, para carbon. Okay, so here's where we utilize that trick. And we're going to nitrate. Remember, nitration requires two acids. Okay. And we'll get um, nitrotoluene. All right, nitrotoluene. Now, from this, we want to begin modifying the side groups. Okay. And there's a lot of detail about oh, which is better. Do we do work on the methyl group first or the nitro group first? And I'll leave that up to the literature to, to answer that question. But here on paper, at least, we could do either, okay? We could think about um, oxidizing the methyl group with potassium permanganate. And this will change this to nitrobenzoic acid. 
Okay, so that's nitrobenzoic acid, para nitrobenzoic acid. And then the fourth reaction we want to do is, whoops, I messed that up. This should be a nitro group. The fourth reaction we want to do is to reduce the nitro group to the aniline. And we do that with um, iron and a hydrochloric acid. Okay. I've just illustrated three uh, examples so far. Uh, there's many more examples that I could just go on and on and on and on about. But I would like at this point um, to go over a problem in the textbook, which I think would illustrate even more of the situation. Okay, so let's do problem 1925. Excuse me, I meant problem 1930. So in problem 1930, we have all of these uh, aromatic substances. Most of them are uh, dye substitute. Well, I'm sorry, they're all dye substitute here. And some of them require tricks of various sorts to get them to work, okay? So uh, refer back to this uh, moment in the video if you like, or if you have the textbook, of course, refer to problem 1930. Uh, I'm going to recopy these and redraw these, but uh, basically we're starting with benzene, okay? And you can use anything else you need, but um, you've got to make sure that your directing groups are correct, okay? If you have nitrobenzene, you have to know that that's a meta director and you just can't put a group on the ortho carbon because, well, that's what the product is, okay? That, that's not going to happen. So let's do problem A. We want to synthesize orthobromoaniline. So there's going to be more than one answer here, right? Because uh, the NH2 is an ortho para director. The bromine's ortho to that. The bromine is an ortho para director. So the NH2 is ortho to that. So uh, here, there's no wrong way to start this off. I'm going to use bromine. And iron 3 bromide to install this. And that's an ortho para director. So that should be good. Now we know we can put um, install a nitro group with nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And I realized that I will form some of the para product, but we draw, generally speaking, um, what, we, what we want, okay, within reason. So bromine is an ortho para director, and I'm drawing the ortho product, which is allowed here. And then what I need to do is um, add zinc, mercury, hydrochloric acid to get the aniline, okay? So that would be one proposal. I'm not going to go through all of the different answers if there's more than one cho choice. In B, we want to synthesize metachloronitrobenzene. Now, this is a basic problem. What you need to realize is that this is the meta director. So you want to start with that as the director. Okay, so that's going to come from nitrobenzene, which in turn comes from benzene. Okay, so let's look at the synthesis. We start with benzene. We install the nitro group using nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And so this gives us uh, nitrobenzene, and we need to do this first. This is the only correct answer because now nitro is a meta director that's going to direct reaction at the meta carbons. So if we add chlorine and iron three chloride, this will give me um, the product where the chlorine is on the correct meta carbon. Okay, and we're done. We stop there. Okay, in part C, we want to synthesize uh, parapropyl aniline. Para. So here's aniline. Okay. And uh, those are lone pairs. And here's a propyl group. Okay. A propyl group. And so here, you want to be careful about this guy here. Now, this guy here, remember, is an ortho para director. So 
This also is an ortho pair director, but remember the aniline has lone pairs on it, so it'll mess up any kind of Friedel Crafts alkylation or acylation. So do this last, okay, which kind of makes counterintuitive. It's a little bit of counterintuitive sense there because you would think to put on the best director first, but we want to put that on last. So we want to uh, take this from the propyl benzene, okay? So remember again, to get an aniline group, we need two steps to put an alkyl group. It could be one or two steps, but we want to avoid rearrangement as we saw in the Friedel Crafts calculations. So what we want to do is use the Friedel Crafts acylation reaction here. Why? To avoid rearrangement. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little note here. There's no rearrangement, and that's why we're doing it this way. When we get the acyl group installed, that's not gonna help us because it's a meta director. We want um, a substitution at the para carbon. So what we need to do here as as add zinc with mercury and hydrochloric acid to give propyl benzene now that propyl group is an ortho para director okay it's going to direct to the two ortho positions and the para position we just want that so we're going to nitrate the ring remember that if you want an aniline it's always a two-step reaction Let's get the nitro on the paracarbon, okay? And then we want to reduce the nitro group using iron and HCl, which is my reagent of choice here, at least on paper. And that will get my product that I desire, okay? In part D, they ask us to synthesize metachloroaniline. Please watch the previous part of my video. I already worked on this. In part E, this is a trick I didn't show you. I generally don't cover this in my courses, but I'll show you how this works. Here we've got this tribromo methyl group and this guy here because you have three bromines attached to the carbon it changes an ordinary alkyl group into an electron withdrawing group which is going to be a meta director so what i want to do here is uh somehow make the tribromo methyl group and that i at least did show you in the beginning of the chapter of this video it's in chapter 18.6 so let's go through the synthesis here. We're gonna start with benzene. We're gonna stick on a methyl group and we do that through Friedel Crafts alkylation using chloromethane and aluminum chloride. So that gives us this molecule called toluene. Okay, I'll, I'll write the CH3 here. Now, if I use excess n bromosuccinimid heat and light, for example, I will make the tribromo methyl group. It's a very easy reaction to do in the lab, by the way. Now that's a meta director, and there's the meta carbon that I want to put on a bromine. I have to use different reagents to install the bromine. I need to use bromine and FeBr3 to get the meta isomer here, okay? So that's another trick I didn't go over, but the book discusses, okay? In F, we want to synthesize a similar molecule. But it's para. So you might think, well, let's put the bromine on first. That's a para director, right? So let's just do that. This can come from bromobenzene and a similar set of reactions. So let's do that. Starting with benzene, we want to install just ordinary bromine. 
and I'll just draw it on the upper left hand side of the ring so it kind of matches up with the target molecule we're interested in. Now uh, there's no limitation for the bromines or other halogens in the ring. If you f do a Friedel Crafts calculation this will work just fine. Okay and the bromine remember is an ortho para director and uh, we just want the para carbon there so we'll go ahead and just draw the one we want. Okay, and that's reasonable. We suspect some of the other stuff's going to form as well, but we don't write it and draw it in our synthesis. And now what we need to do is uh, use excess n bromosuccinimid, heat, light, benzoyl peroxide, some initiator or something, and uh, you're going to get the para product. Okay, so we reverse the steps to get the other isomer, okay? In letter G, we want to synthesize this molecule here. And you might think about how this is going to occur. Um, there's, there's no real right answer. I mean, this is an ortho para director, and so is the methyl group. So let's put the more complicated one on here first. Now this is a branched alkyl group, so we want to make sure we use a Friedel Crafts um, acylation. Okay, but uh, that can come from, um, you know, just benzene. So let's go ahead and just write the synthesis here. So we'll use uh, this guy here. And again, uh, count your carbons very carefully. So we've got one, two, three. We got this methyl group on the three position. So one, two, three. We got this met methyl group, I'm sorry, coming off the two position. So uh, that, that's correct. And we use aluminum chloride. Don't forget the other reagents there are necessary. And this will make the acyl group of this complicated looking thing. Okay. Now remember that this acyl group is um, causing this whole ACL group to be an electron withdrawing group. So uh, that's going to direct meta, which is not something we want to draw. So we first need to use that trick I was mentioning before to reduce this with zinc, mercury, hydrochloric acid. And this will get me now just the ordinary alkyl group, and that is an ortho-para director, okay? An alkyl group directs ortho and para, so now if we treat this with uh, chloromethane, aluminum trichloride, that will make the desired product. Now I know there's going to be significant amounts of the para isomer, but it's an ortho pair director, so on paper, that's what we're going to propose, okay? In um, molecule H, we want to synthesize a nitrobenzene, and there's an alkyl group here called an isopropyl group. So this guy here is an ortho pair director and the nitro group is, is at the ortho carbon. So that seems very easy, right? We can just synthesize this from isopropyl benzene. So let's go ahead and just show that synthesis here. Now for this uh, reaction here, we wanna choose isopropyl chloride. Okay, and there's gonna be only one product from this where you have the appropriate branching. And now let's highlight this. This is an ortho para director. And so we'll just install the nitro group ortho and we'll write the product and we're done. So HNO3, H2SO4 will uh, get my nitro group right on that ortho carbon where we need it. Okay. 
So keep in mind that the nitro group is a meta director. So we don't want to start with the nitro group because then we'll get the meta product. If your molecule is substituted at the ortho position, you want to find a director that's ortho. So this one didn't require any tricks. Okay. The next molecule does require a trick. We want to synthesize in part I a metachloropropyl benzene. Metachloropropyl benzene. So how do we do this? You see, it's a struggle for us to think about this because a halogen is an ortho para director and an alkyl group is an ortho para director. But what we want to do is think about, well, that could come from an acyl group, right? Which is a meta director. Okay? So we want to use the Friedel Crafts acylation in this. Starting with benzene, we acylate this with the correct number of carbons. Don't forget the catalyst or the uh, additive in this case, I guess. So we form the propiophenone. And if we treat this with chlorine, iron trichloride, that's where we can trick, right? Reaction at the meta carbon. And then at the end, we'll, we'll uh, do some administrative work up here, basically. We will uh, remove the ketone moiety from the molecule, giving us uh, the target molecule here shown in purple. Uh, make sure you have the right number of carbons, so there's three carbons and a chlorine, okay? Molecule J, molecule J, um, I believe this one requires blocking groups. I can't figure this one out, so I suspect it uses sulfuric acid and stuff, so don't worry too much about that, okay? Um, so uh, that's it for this video. Um, they do talk about polysubstituted rings, and for that, uh, generally speaking, uh, it requires a little bit more work. You could read the example for yourself, and I will try to do problem uh, 1933 with you, with you here in the video. Okay, in problem 1933, um, let's just work through uh, some of these together here. Uh, I'll, I'll do part A and, and B here, okay? So note these on a piece of paper or come back to the video if, if you like. I'm going to use a new page for each, each one of these. But let's read the problem here, starting with benzene, okay? Anything else, do a synthesis, and there might be more than one answer, okay? So in A, and again, this is problem 1933, we want to synthesize a tri-substituted aromatic substance that has bromine, and uh, isopropyl group, OK? So when I look at this molecule, you, you want to find a director that's going to give you two of the substituents you need. So right here we have an isopropyl group, and that's an ortho pair director. So the ortho carbon is substituted by a bromine, and the para carbon is substituted by an acyl group. So we're going to use that as a strategy, and we're going to start with isopropyl benzene. Okay. And then in tandem, one reaction after the other, install the bromine, install the acyl group, okay? So that's a very common thing you want to think about when you have a tri-substituted benzene, all right? So I'll show you the synthesis now. We want to start with benzene and 2-chloropropane aluminum trichloride. This will give us uh, the isopropyl benzene, okay? And then um, there's no right or wrong answer here. We could install the bromine first and then the uh, acyl group later. But one of these ways is a little bit better, okay? Because you want to think about what goes on at the last step. 
here we have an acyl group that's a meta director okay and here we have an isopropyl group which is an ortho director so they're both directing to the same location so at this point let's put on the acyl group and remember again the isopropyl group is an ortho para director and so we want to put the acyl group at the para carbon So there's our acyl group at the para carbon. And so this is what I'm saying about the bromine. Here, this is an ortho para director. And here, this is a meta director. Okay. You can see how it di they both, uh, both of these directors direct to the same location. So this is like a win-win situation, essentially. If I treat this with bromine and iron 3 bromide, I'll get the target molecule in uh, purple there. Now, if I first brominated and then acylated, I'm going to have competing directors, and uh, it could be a little bit more sloppy. Okay. In 1933, B. We have an aniline. Now remember, for when you need to synthesize aniline derivatives, okay, the aniline usually is going to go last because we can't do an acylation with a nitro group and we can't do an acylation with an aniline, okay? So NH2 and nitro groups are incompatible. with um, acylations and alkylations. I'll just say friedel crafts stuff, okay? So that means I need to do um, this before I do the uh, nitration. So this can come from this guy, and that could come from either of the two, okay? This could come from uh, propyl benzene, for example. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm assuming you can see the relationship between things here re relatively easily. This guy here is an ortho director, so that's why I'm using propyl benzene, which can direct a bromine to the ortho carbon. And then the nitration reaction is going to have two ortho para directors. Uh, I'll show you w what the issue is there in just a moment. So let's start with benzene. Okay. And we want to, um, oh, actually, I just thought of a, a better way to do it because of that issue I just mentioned. The bromine is an ortho para director and the propyl group is an ortho para director so that's a problem. Which one of these is going to direct? They're both about equally very poor. So we want to think about um, this possibility. If I have a nitro group there in the ring already, now, I know that an alkyl group is an ortho para director and a nitro group, okay, a nitro group is a meta director. So these both direct to the same location. So you can kind of see the thought process there of me uh, making a mistake, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, start our synthesis here. We're going to take benzene. And we're going to do an acylation. This is the only choice here we can do, and this avoids rearrangement. Okay. 
If you're a little shaky on that, review sections five and six in that textbook. Okay, so there's, again, well, I'll put it in the same orientation here on the bottom right, okay? So there's our propiophenone. And uh, now we want to nitrate, okay? But this is a meta director, so that's a problem. Okay, this guy here directs to the meta. We want nitro here. That ain't going to happen. So what I need to do first is reduce the ketone. And now alkyl groups are ortho paradirectors. Okay, so this problem requires a lot of thinking to solve. So now if I treat this with uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, I can make uh, paranitropropyl benzene. Okay, so I've got that that far. Now here's where I want to use that trick. As I mentioned before, the nitro group is a meta director and the propyl group right here is a ortho pair director. So this will be easy. All we need to do is uh, brominate it here. We don't want to reduce the nitro to the aniline yet. So add bromine, iron tribromide, and this will install the bromine right at the desired location. Now the nitro group is not what we want. We want an aniline to convert the nitro into an aniline. Remember again, you can use iron, magnesium, zinc, lots of different metals. I use iron and HCO just so I don't have to memorize a whole bunch of different things. Okay, and that'll reduce the nitro to the aniline. Okay. I know this was a long video, but I wanted to give you a lot of examples, um, a very thorough explanation, and that's it for uh, chapter 19. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe, and you can thank me by uh, subscribing or thumbs up in the video.